Hello friends, this video on neat current electricity is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Moving ahead, let's talk about the combination of resistors. First, we will discuss resistors in series. So what do we mean by resistors in series? So when the resistors are connected in... So let's say that there are three resistors R1, R2, R3. When we connect them end to end, that means let's say this is first resistor. End of first resistor means beginning of second resistor. End of second resistor means beginning of third resistor. So when you connect them like this end to end, then they are said to be in series. Now in series combination, current flow is same through each resistor. For example, if current I flows through R1, the same current I flows through R2 and the same current I flows through R3. Secondly, the potential difference is different across each resistor. For example, the potential difference across R1 if it is V1, then the potential difference across R2 is V2 and the potential difference across R3 is V3. So the potential difference gets distributed among the three resistors. And how do we, now when we talk about the overall circuit, how do we calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit? In a series combination, equivalent resistance is equal to sum of the resistances. So R equivalent in this case will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. And what about the potential difference across each resistor? So the potential difference across each resistor, for example, V1 will be equal to R1 divided by R equivalent into V, where V is the net potential difference. That is the potential difference between these two points. If that is V, then the potential difference across R1 would be R1 divided by R equivalent into V. Similarly, potential difference across R2, that is V2 will be equal to R2 divided by R equivalent into V and V3 would be equal to R3 divided by R equivalent into V. Now in case if, so we are considering a special case where R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to R. Let's say that all the resistances are of equal value. In that case, the R equivalent of the circuit would be R plus R plus R, which is equal to 3R. And in that case, the voltage across each resistor would also be same because that is a special case. So the voltage across each resistor would be equal to V by 3. So V by 3 plus V by 3 plus plus V by 3 will make the total V. So the total V gets equally distributed among the three resistors. So it is V by 3, V by 3, V by 3. Right? So I hope you understood the concept. So here what happens is current is same but the voltage gets distributed among the three resistors. So that's resistors in series. Now let's talk about resistors in parallel combination. So in this type of combination one end of all the resistors are connected together like if you see these are three resistors let's say r1 r2 r3 so you see one end of all the resistors are connected together at a point the other end of all the resistors that is this end of all the resistors they are again connected together at a point so this is parallel combination so what happens in this combination the current flow is different through each resistor let's say that if current i was flowing through the circuit then it gets divided into different values along the three resistors that is i1 i2 and i3 so different current flows through the three resistors however the potential difference is same across each resistor because let's say that the potential difference between these two points is v that actually means that the potential difference across these two points is v potential difference across these two points is also v and the potential difference across these two points is also v so the potential difference in this case across each resistor is the same however the current flowing through them is different now, how do you calculate the equivalent resistance of this circuit? So, in this case, R equivalent will be equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. 
Now please remember that this is equal to 1 by R equivalent. So if you have to calculate R equivalent, first calculate 1 by R equivalent, the, the reciprocal would be the value of R equivalent. Because many a times people just forget to do the reciprocal. So this is how you calculate the equivalent resistance if the resistors are in parallel combination. Now in this case, how do you calculate because the voltage across each resistor is the same, but how do you calculate the current across each resistor? So here, so in this case, the current across resistor R1 is I1. So I1, the current across this resistor would be equal to the potential difference across this resistor which is V divided by R1. Similarly, I2 will be equal to V by R2 and I3 will be equal to V by R3. So th this, this would give the values of current across, across each resistor. Now let's consider a special case here also that if the values of all the three resistors are the same. That is if R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to R. So in that case what would be R equivalent? So 1 by R equivalent will be equal to 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R which is equal to 3 by R. Therefore R equivalent in this case would be equal to R by 3. So this is a special case and in this special case what would be the current across each resistor. So in this case let us try to calculate the current across the first resistor which is I1. So I1 will be equal to V divided by R1. Now what is V? V is the potential difference of the overall circuit, right? The potential difference of the overall circuit is equal to the potential difference across each resistor. So V can be written as I into R equivalent divided by R1, correct? So in this case, what is the value of R1? I am doing the remaining calculation here. So I1 will be equal to I into R equivalent is R by 3 divided by R1 is R. So this is equal to R and R will get cancelled. So I1 is equal to I by 3. And similarly when you calculate I2 and I3, you see that in this particular scenario when all the resistances are equal, in that case I1 is equal to I2 is equal to I3 is equal to I by 3. So basically the current I gets divided into three equal parts. I by 3, I by 3, I by 3. So that's clear. Okay. So Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.